the beloved classic I Love Lucy premiered on October 15th, 1951. It quickly shot up in the ratings and right into the hearts of Americans. It aired 180 episodes over the course of six seasons. During the half hour show, each week on Monday nights, both water and telephone usage would dramatically drop across the country. Some stores would even close early because they wouldn't have customers during that time. Before the world met her as Lucy Ricardo, Lucille Ball had a popular radio show called My Favorite Husband. But that husband was Richard Denning, not Desi Arnaz. When CBS offered Ball the chance to take her show to TV, Ball agreed under one condition. Desi Arnaz, her real-life husband, needed to play her husband on TV. CBS was unsure. They didn't think America would believe Ball's character would be married to a quote-unquote foreign man. To prove that it would work, the two wrote a short skit and performed it in Arnaz's orchestra shows. Audiences loved it, their comedy and their chemistry. CBS loved them together too. They also loved their professor skit, which made its way into an episode during season one. It's funny to note that Ricky Ricardo was almost Larry Lopez. The producers, however, weren't fans of Lucy and Larry, so Ricky it was. But that wasn't the only convincing Ball and Arnez had to do with the network. They wanted to film in L.A., near their home, not in New York, where most things in 1951 were filmed. There wasn't technology to support the California location, so Ball and Arnez made another deal. Arnez suggested the show be filmed with three cameras and with a live audience. He knew his wife performed best that way anyways. But the cameras, equipment, and set were a big expense. Ball and Arnez agreed to a pay cut. In exchange, their company, Desilu Productions, would own the films. This decision was actually quite brilliant. The show was filmed on high-quality 35mm film, the first show to do so, by the way, and enabled it to have longevity in syndication. And Ball and Arnez owned 100% of the show. They were the first millionaire TV stars. On the show, Lucy and Ricky's best friends and landlords were Fred and Ethel Mertz, played by William Frawley and Vivian Vance. Vance and Ball were best friends, both on screen and off. Vance liked to joke that her contract said she needed to be 10 pounds heavier than Ball. <laughs> and while they played a married couple on screen, there was no love lost between Vivian Vance and William Frawley off camera. Vance was 22 years younger than Frawley and resented her TV spouse being so old. The two did not get along. To their credit though, they were consummate professionals, so very few knew about their personal feud. The show was a pioneer for many things in the industry. It was the first sitcom to be filmed in front of a live studio audience. And the audience was big at 300. Anytime one of the actors was able to get the audience to erupt into spontaneous applause, the actor earned a silver dollar after the scene. One person who was always in the audience was Lucille Ball's mom. She got so caught up in the scenes, she'd sometimes loudly say, uh-oh, when Lucy got herself into another crazy situation. The sound producer, Glenn Glenn, lifted that uh-oh to use on other shows. Desi Arnaz had an incredible memory. After reading over his script just one time, he had his lines memorized. Those that worked on the show said he never messed up his lines. 
He did get a little help in other areas, though. Arnez wore lifts in his shoes to make him taller on set to offset Ball in her heels. His side of the love seat was also boosted to make sure he appeared taller than Ball when he sat down, too. Just when their hit series got underway for season two, Ball and Arnez got some great news. They were pregnant with their second child. This proved to be quite the pickle for CBS, though. They decided to write her pregnancy into the show, but her condition was so taboo, in fact, that CBS prohibited the word pregnant on the show. Lucy was instead expecting. In addition, Arnez hired a local minister, a priest, and a rabbi to review every episode to make sure there was nothing offensive about it. 44 million viewers watched the episode where little Ricky was born. That's 72% of all U.S. homes that owned a TV then. That audience was bigger than President Eisenhower's swearing in the very next day. After Ball had their son in real life, Arnez suggested they simply replay some old episodes to give his wife a much needed break to recover. CBS agreed, another first actually. Now, commonplace for a show to re-air episodes, it was novel then. In fact, Desi Arnez is credited for inventing the rerun. Lucille Ball had the honor of gracing the first ever cover of TV Guide with her son. Actually, she holds the record for being on the cover a whopping 39 times. I Love Lucy was the number one show for four of its six seasons, and it was the first show to end while still holding that number one spot. It's one of the most critically lauded shows of all time. The show was nominated for 21 Emmy Awards, and it won it five times. Even today, I Love Lucy has an audience of 40 million each year in reruns, and it remains one of the most enduring shows on television. Thanks for watching, Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.